Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara and today I'm going to be doing a quick review over the new NARS launches. This collection came out about a month ago. This is the Osaka collection. I only picked up the blush, the quad, and the new light reflecting pressed powder. I'm going to show those to you shortly. I did not pick up the loose powder. This is the blush. This is in the shade X Appeal. I don't say the full name because I'm not monetized and I don't want to get dinged already. So this is actually my favorite shade, but in the light reflecting formula, this is gorgeous. I'm going to be using this for you today as well as the new pressed powder. Actually, let me backtrack as well as the new permanent blush to their collection. This one is in the shade 903 M Impassioned. This was silently launched. They didn't even announce it. There's nothing about it on Sephora or Ulta. I picked it up on the NARS website. I just happened to see there was a brand new shade and I bought it. I just, I don't know. There's something about this cool toned pinky purple leaning shade that caught my attention. It's described as a pink orchid. So I play with both of these today. These are, I will put the price on the, the screen for you. One is limited edition. This one's permanent, the matte shade. 4.8 grams in the permanent matte shade. And then 10 grams of blush in the new Osaka Collection limited edition blush. Now, I don't need that much in my blush because I already have the matte shade. But, but because I love this formula so much, I don't mind having a larger blush like this. And then the initial piece that I picked up, which caught my attention right off the get-go, was the new pressed powder in the Light Reflecting Prismatic formula. This is the shade Interstellar, which leads me to believe they might come out with more shades down the line. This is not described as limited edition. There is 10 grams of product in here. This thing I'll also demo for you, but it's similar to the translucent pressed powder that I already have slightly different like same same but different this one i feel has quite a bit more brightening to it as opposed to the translucent permanent shade and then for your reference this is the quad that launched with it in the well it's called osaka every shade is called osaka all of their quads name every shade the same just one two three and four this thing is also limited edition but still available on the website if you wanted to pick it up i do not use this today i'm going to be using this in a different video I wanted to play with my indie palettes today, so I couldn't decide between my Blend Bunny and my Cosmic Brushes palette. This palette, I just, I wanted to play with this one more. I've got several indie palettes just kind of building up on me, and they, they're desperate to be played with. I cannot help myself when I look at this color story. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. When I look at this color story, it just, it captivated me. There is also a palette called Neutrals. This is Cool Trolls. I love them. I think the Neutrals one is absolutely beautiful too, but because so many indie palettes have launched this summer, I decided I'm going to pace myself and pick out one. I will pick up Neutrals at some point before this year is over. I guarantee it. And as always, you guys know the drill. Everything on my face is linked down below. So if you click on those links to make a purchase, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate you. Hi from the future, as I am editing this, I noticed that the very beginning of my eyeshadow tutorial was corrupted. It, it had absolutely nothing I could work with, so I am refilming just the start of this. So you might notice a bit of a difference between the first couple shadows and once I get more along the lines of the middle half of the eyeshadow tutorial. So I apologize for that, but this is where we're starting. I'm taking Eternal on a Unearthly Cosmetics A4 brush. I'm doing the exact same steps that I did in the tutorial from yesterday that I filmed. Just showing you how I did it because I figured this would be easier than trying to do a talk through. So I apologize, but hopefully you guys are able to follow along and it's not too much of a hiccup. All I'm doing with this shadow is sweeping it across the crease starting on the inside corner and working it out as best I can, flicking it far along to the outer corner of my brow bone. 
Now I'm gonna take a Sigma E27 brush and pick up the shade Natural and build this up just a little bit more. I'm not sure what happened with my filming just there, but my camera turned off for some reason, so hopefully I didn't lose that footage. But if I did, I built up the shade Stone Cold in my crease, just didn't bring it out as far as the shade Eternal. Now I'm gonna take that same shade Natural on a Makeup Forever brush and sweep it along my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna have to go switch out my card because it keeps stopping, so something is up with my card. This is a Sigma E35. I picked up the shade Moonlight. I started by bringing it in the inner corner first and gently dusting it outward. Getting quite a bit of fallout, but that's okay because I'm doing my eyes first so I can clean it off. You can certainly make this opaque, but I am not gonna be doing that. There's a wing that I am hoping to make for this. I'm gonna take the shade Shadow on a My Kitco brush and just kind of start by placing the black shadow where I want it before doing any detailed work. I'm going to finish off my face before I come back and do that. I'm gonna pick up the shade Attract on a My 18 brush from Danessa Merricks and put that in my inner corner. And bring it into the mobile lid just a touch. I'm gonna go ahead and take Eternal one more time and use this on my lower lash line to buff out that shade Natural with. I don't want a whole lot of drama on my lower lash line. I want the majority of my drama to be at my wing. I'm gonna pick up the shade Eclipse and spray my brush and use this to layer over that wing. Hopefully create a little bit more drama. So I have two new blushes to try out. Both of these are from NARS. So I've got the limited edition one called, oh, what's it called? The Light Reflecting Blush in the shade X Appeal. This one has the pink packaging. I was hoping it would have the hearts like it does on the box, the carton. This one I have the matte formula for. This is the Light Reflecting formula. I'm gonna use both of these today. I also picked up the brand new color to their permanent collection. This is the shade 903 Impassioned. It is a pink, oh, there we go. <laughs> it is a pink orchid shade. I thought this one was probably the most beautiful addition that they could have added to their permanent line. I didn't see anything about it online. I actually needed to go look it up to see if I was crazy, if it was part of the permanent collection when they released it a couple months ago, but it wasn't. I even checked Emmett Beauty Talk online on Instagram because she had posted these Quite a while back and her post did not show the shade 903 so that's how I knew this one was brand new there's no mention of it on the website as being a brand new shade but it is because they originally only had the 20 shades this one makes number 21 so I'm gonna use the shade 903 impassioned on my left cheek first and then I'm gonna use the limited edition from the other collection on my right cheek I was actually quite surprised. I didn't know this was even launched on their website because it's not on Ulta or Sephora until I saw an ad for it scrolling through social media and I was like, oh, I don't recall seeing that shade and it's a pretty light shade. Looks like it'd be perfect for fair skin. And it is just a beautiful cool toned matte pink leaning more, I'd say leaning a little bit more lilac. I've built this up quite a bit. This is how the shade 903 Impassioned looks. I do like that shade. I think I might like it more than the matte shade X Appeal. 
So this is the light reflecting formula for that same shade. I'm gonna clean off my brush and use this one again. So I'm gonna take that same Danessa Myricks My 15 brush and I'm gonna put this one on my right cheek. And I love the light reflecting formula if you're new here. I have a couple videos up from NARS already. I'm a big fan of this formula. I feel like it's very subtle, but very flattering. That's beautiful. Both of these are very beautiful, very subtle, and very nice for fair skin. So I'm happy to have both of these. I'm actually gonna take this shade here and layer it over the top of the matte shade for a highlight. And I think that is even prettier. Let me see if I can do the same thing with the matte shade on this cheek. Both of those blush shades are absolutely beautiful, but I also picked up the new finishing powder. This is the Light Reflecting Shade Interstellar Prismatic Powder. Okay, I can't help it. That and That is just beautiful. I love the swirl. It is so captivating to stare at. It's a purple powder, but it has this lovely little sheen to it. So I have not powdered anywhere except my under eyes. I'm gonna use this to brighten up my complexion. I love this formula. I have this powder in the original translucent. Oh, looks like a little bit of my eyeshadow's falling down. I'm gonna have to clean that up. It's very brightening. I don't like the loose powder as much, so I did not pick up the loose powder. I'm not overly fond of that one. I felt like that formula is a little bit dry. Oh, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna use the bigger side of this hourglass brush to buff out my bronzer up here. It has a very subtle sheen to it, but I love the formula because I feel like it's very light, very airy. If you don't like a brightening luminous powder, this is not gonna be for you, but if you're like myself and you love a luminous powder, this one I think is a little bit more luminous than the original translucent but I like it. This is it for this eye look. I picked out the MAC gel liner in the shade Last Word for my waterline. I wanted to add a little bit of a pop. I'm not wearing mascara today. I have found that with my allergies being the way they are, it's easier for me to not wear mascara and get away with just some false lashes. And I've also discovered that my false lashes apply better and wear better when I don't have mascara on. I could apply mascara after, but I wasn't really in the mood. For my lipstick, I am wearing the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. This is a limited edition shade 0600, and I paired it with my Hourglass Lip Liner in number one Expose. This look came together at the end in a way that I didn't expect, and I think the lips complemented it just right. Let's wrap this up, shall we? I can see myself getting so much use out of this new Cool Trolls Palette by Cosmic Brushes. I am in love. The formula is just as good as every single palette I own from them. Every palette I've ever owned, I haven't had a single dud in their palettes, not one. And this is one of the more affordable indie brands that I have in my collection. As I'm filming this, I do not know if these have sold out. I'll have to check and I will post that somewhere on the screen. I will be picking up the Nude Trolls Palette at some point later this year. I just want to be careful. I want to pace myself. This one just spoke to me more. Swatch Ara here. I had completely forgotten as I was swatching this that I forgot to tell you some of the important details regarding this palette. There are 20 shades, 37 US dollars. It is coming from Europe, so you will have to pay a little bit larger of a shipping fee. However, there are 12 mattes, 8 metallics, one foiled multi-chrome, one duochrome, and an iridescent. I do want to mention the iridescent shade is this one. It is called Reveal. In the palette, it looks more white, but because I swatched it over this navy blue shade, it looks to have a blue base to it. It's not supposed to because when I just swatch it on my finger, it has that icy blue, like that icy iridescent blue. I just happened to have it smeared over that blue there and it didn't look the way it's supposed to in the palette. When you swatch it out on your finger on its own, it has that beautiful iridescent shade to it. Might not be so easy to pick up here on camera. 
it's definitely more of a topper shade. Like I could place it over my brow bone and it would look absolutely, ooh, just like that. Absolutely amazing. I just swatched it over that navy blue. So in the swatches, that's what you're seeing. This black foiled shade, the not foiled, called Eclipse. What does the, the website say? It says it's a matte black with shimmery silver particles. This is one of the blackest blacks I have ever used. It has that shimmer particle to it, but like I said, if you do your eyes first, wipe away the fallout after. But this thing is absolutely deep. I can't think of a black shade that I have in my collection that is more opaque than that. Either way though, for several different formulas that you're getting in one palette, $37 is one of the better price points I have ever seen. This is an incredible formula. It swatches great, it applies great, and some of the formulas I have, they don't swatch so great, but they still apply great. This does everything, you cannot go wrong. But if these shades are not your jam, there is a sister palette to this, the neutrals. This is more my jam, but if cool tones, they don't vibe with you, look at the neutrals palette because that one might be right up your alley. Definitely do your eyes first because I am getting shimmer absolutely everywhere. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you felt some inspiration. And if you felt inspired to pick up an indie brand, if you have not already, I'm gonna be honest with you, I prefer my indie palettes over my mainstream palettes. Do something for yourself today because you guys are absolutely worth it.